Welcome to PatioKidsDirect.com. Uh, we appreciate your time today as we teach you how to measure a standard attached patio cover. Whether this be a solid, non-insulated, solid insulated, or a lattice laguna patio cover, we want to go over the overall shade portion versus the post placement and how to measure. Now, every house has a variable. Some people want a larger patio cover, which we can accommodate, or a smaller patio cover, uh, maybe for just like an area for coffee and tea um, or whatnot. So um, in this representation, the gray represents the overall shade portion, and then the black line represents the beam, the white boxes represent post. So the difference is we uh, quote you based on total shade, not the post placement. Three numbers that uh, we need are the projection times the length and then the height. The height is not represented in this as this is an aerial drawing. Uh, most homes are around eight to nine feet as an attachment point, okay? So first thing I'd like to go over, all solid patio covers project outward okay uh, the lattice cover the rafters project outward and the lattice tubes generally run from left to right unless you have a reverse lattice uh, application you would like to do so let's go over the first uh, number being the projection okay the projection is either from the wall or from the the fascia now that's important because uh, fascias stick out about anywhere from uh, 12 to 18 inches, depending on the home. That would actually be your starting point where you would want to measure to your projection, the total shade. Now, if it's the stucco wall, maybe on a two-story house, you'll go straight to the stucco and measure outward, okay? Um, now, if you look down here where my mouse is, uh, the standard overhang is one foot. Uh, some people decide to have 18 inches, maybe even two feet. You would have to let us know at that time, um, you know, that you want a little bit larger cover maybe than your concrete area, okay? So projection is the first number. The length is left to right. How much of the house do you want to cover? Um, now, if you notice, uh, the 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 post placement where the beam is, this has a one foot setback, maybe 18 inches. This has a variable. The same rule applies uh, to the post from left to right on the length. Um, it has one foot inset, maybe 18 inches to, or two feet. Again, there is a variable. So uh, from this post to the outside other posts on the left or right hand side, depending on the size of patio cover, we will tell you how many posts you will have. Uh, single beam generally has a little bit more posts than a double beam as a double beam gives a little bit more support. Um, so this is an overall view. So when you're doing your measurements, pay attention to overall shade versus post placement uh, with these insets uh, kind of in mind. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach us at 888-851-8351 or visit us at patiokidsdirect.com. We appreciate your time today and look forward to earning your business.